Hey guys, we're in Vietnam, we're in Da Danang, we're in Perry Pool Arena right now. Perry Open starts tomorrow. I'm the defending champion and my goal is to defend the title this week here. I'm gonna use this tournament as a warm-up event before Hanoi Open. Obviously Hanoi is Metrim's major tournament. That's why all the players came here and everybody's using this event as a warm-up. Let's see how the pool room looks like, it's huge. Really good, really good shrimp. Look at this, look at the size. What the f <laughs> Very good, very good. Way better than clams. <laughs> way better. This looks good. <laughs> Shouldn't have smelled it. Wow, this is really good. This definitely tastes better than it smells. This might be the best crab I've ever tried in my life. I know, I know, I know. But I still do it. <laughs> Morning, everyone. It's uh, day one of Perry Open. I'm playing at 10 a.m. My first match against the Vietnamese player that I didn't hear before, never heard of him before, and really no expectations. Could be a really good player, could be an amateur. You know, amateurs in Asia are pretty good still, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a good one. Only thing, I went to sleep pretty late because the draw wasn't done until like one o'clock in the morning, and my first match is at 10 a.m., so I don't think it's, uh, it's good what has happened, but you know, it is what it is. We deal with it, that's how it is sometimes, and that's that's what I eat for breakfast usually. Basically the same stuff. I eat some salad, eggs, a little bit of protein, either meat or bacon or anything, and some fruits. I don't do any more boiled eggs because you guys know that I'm not really good with peeling them. So I just eat fried eggs and uh, watermelon juice. Passion fruit juice is really good in Vietnam. So that's what I drink most of the time. I'm playing my first match, first round, played like crap. Honestly, in the beginning I played good, just as my previous tournaments was up 7-0, played good, broke good, didn't quite understand the table, but I really missed a lot of opportunities to close the match. Could have been up 8-0, could have been up 8-1, could have been up whatever. And <laughs> long story short, I missed like three or four balls to win the match in the end and started feeling it. The end, it's, the match ended really weird. I missed the nine ball and uh, he uh, makes a time foul on the nine ball, which is incredible. It's always weird to finish the match like this, but you know, it is what it is. He made a mistake he called an extension earlier and uh, didn't hear i guess they called a five five seconds when is the win we play at six or four o'clock next time to sign some pictures i guess take a million pictures now for uh i played so bad that's okay
day one was good. Got a guy from Bangladesh, beat him 9-0. Played much better, felt much better. After the second match, I told everyone that I will be taking pictures and doing autographs. We went outside and there was a lot of fans uh, that came out and it was it was fun. It was fun to see that, that many people that came, uh, you know, asked for a picture and autographs. It was, it was pretty wild. And uh, right after the match, me and Billy Thorpe, we went to the barber shop where I uh, had the haircut before and now Billy had one. We rode motorbikes and uh, it was a lot of fun. Let's go! That was a wild ride. <laughs> there we go. You gotta be kidding me. What's going on guys? We're going to the Magic pool arena to hit balls for like 20 or 30 minutes before our matches because we're not allowed to practice in uh, the actual venue so we're going to the pool room next to it only five minutes away probably hit balls for like 20 or 30 minutes and then uh, going to the match we're playing at 12:30, uh, which is uh, an hour from now so hopefully good practice time to pound some patties exactly Dude. Where are we going? We're going to Far? Far yeah. Place? Yeah. We're going to the Far Place, guys. We're Everybody's one... saying it's good. Oh, dude, this one is amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> amazing. We're in uh, Magic Pool Arena in Da Nang right now, as you can see behind me. Every table is full. I don't even know how many tables they have, but it's pretty crazy. Right now it's 5.30. Probably a big time for Vietnam, but this is how the pool room looks from 10 a.m. until midnight. Literally every pool room is like this in Vietnam, across the country, Hanoi, Da Nang, Ho Chi Minh City. It's pretty amazing and fascinating to see how many pool players they have here and how passionate and crazy pool fans are in Vietnam. Aller and Billy are about to play at 6 o'clock. I won my match earlier, so I will be both probably streaming and uh, taking pictures with fans. I just came to hang out with them here and probably take some pictures here in the pool room as well. Hopefully, you know, those little parts from documentaries and videos that we're doing is going to help promote the business in Da Nang and uh, hopefully it's going to help build and uh, make pool community bigger in Vietnam. Let's go. Okay guys, we're back to the Perry Pool Arena right now. And uh, behind me, the main match is going on of the loser qualification round. Don Kwok, the Vietnamese legend, national favorite, is playing against Imran Majid. And also behind me, you can see the trophy that everybody's fighting for this week. A beautiful trophy for the Perry Open. I won my match earlier against Ramadan Agdak from Turkey. Uh, it was a weird match. I really never had a shot after the break. Almost every time I made the one on the side, except maybe once. Yeah, it was a lot of safety battles. Also one, one rack. I remember when I was up three to one, I could have won it, but I missed two shots. It wasn't like an easy shot or anything, but uh, still the match could have went easier for me. I'm always making it tougher for myself for some reason. Also, when I was up 8-4, I broke and had a shot on the one and didn't make it. The match ended really, really weird. He almost scratched on the seven ball or some ball that he was trying to play to play shape on the eight. And uh, he ended up scratching on the eight ball, getting shaped to the nine ball. The crowd went nuts and everybody was yelling. Anyways, it's a win. We're through to the last 64 playing tomorrow at 10 a.m. We don't know who are we playing yet because the loser qualification round is still going on right now. Good morning, guys. It's uh, about 8.30 a.m. in the morning. First match is at 10 o'clock against uh, Dimitris Lukatos from Greece. Last 64, I don't know if the race is going to be longer. Last year, they didn't make it longer until the last 16, so I'm expecting it to be the same this year. So it's going to be a race to nine, and uh, I'm not really hungry. I'm not really eating a lot right now. I'm just drinking uh, what's called coconut Vietnamese coffee. I don't know what's in it, but I was drinking it with Billy yesterday and it got me all jacked up. My hands were shaking and I was jumping around the table. So I'm adding a little bit of coffee today, not the full jar. Hopefully I'm not as shaky and full of energy, ready to go.
guys, we're in Hoi An, Vietnam. This is the ancient city of Vietnam. I don't know, it's like five or six hundred years old. I don't even know, I don't know the history. I just read about it online a little bit, so we're not gonna go too deep into it. Let's talk about the results of Perry Open. I have lost my match this morning to Dimitris Lukados. I lost 9-4, didn't play good. Uh, honestly, I had the rolls go my way. I jumped, two balls missed both of them, and the ball still went in, and I uh, just, just missed balls in this match, and uh, Dimitris missed less. I think he's still in the tournament, uh, playing in the last 16 right now, so good luck to him. I'm in the gym right now. This morning we plan to go to Bana Hills, but due to bad weather, we were not able to go there. It's in the mountains and uh, today is really foggy and rainy. So instead we went to the fall place that Skyler recommended all week and tried some good fall. It was pretty delicious. And now I'm in the gym, already killed my upper body. That's what I do when I have free time, you know, when I have at least three days to rest. I go in the gym and I lift quite heavy for me. As you can see, I'm a tiny guy. I don't have really big muscles yet, but I'm working towards it. Good beginning of the workout. I will be doing some lower body too. My legs, glutes, always sucks to do legs because then you walk like a penguin the next day. And also when you play pool, your stance is shaky, especially when you bend your both legs. And if you had a tough leg day uh, the day before or two days before, you feel like a jelly. So I'm not gonna try to kill myself today, but I'm definitely trying to you know, gain and tear my muscles a little bit to make them bigger and uh, it sucks. We're back to Perry Pool Arena, guys. Final is on. It's Dimitris Lucados that beat me in the last 64 against FSR Francisco Sanchez Ruiz. Sanchez was up the whole match, but I think it's it's tied right now, 10 to 10. Dimitris is about to break. Uh, they're having a timeout. A lot of people are watching. Yeah, it's going to be intense. Hopefully, it's going to be a hill hill thriller. Really tough to say who's going to win, but my prediction now is that Dimitris is going to win the tournament, and that will put him into considerations for Moscone Cup as well, going to Hanoi Open. It's going to be interesting. Obviously, a lot of things are on the line when it comes to the rankings. FSR didn't have a great year so far, but playing in the finals here, and he would be one of the first obvious choices for uh, a wild card when it comes to Moscone Cup. Miki is having a great year, almost a lock for a third spot by the rankings. Yeah, and Dimitris, Dimitris is uh, just uh, putting his name uh, on the map, and if he's going to win this tournament, it's going to be one of his biggest wins in his career so it's it's definitely a history making today Congrats, bro. I feel I'll excited. With this, this yeah, I'm, uh, it's my it's my new yeah. job. Uh, I can't play pool no more, so I'm doing interviews. Obviously, Vietnamese fans wanted their local players to win this week, yeah. but I think you're one of the players that they enjoy watching the most. So I think everybody was rooting for you today. How happy are you about your win? I'm so happy. Like you say, here in Vietnam is so special. Like like two months ago, we make a special here. We can feel how excited this. So. I feel really excited. Yeah, very happy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So obviously, with this win, it puts you close to Moscone Cup, right? How do you rate your chances of getting picked or maybe if you don't do good enough in uh, Hanoi Open, yeah. do you think uh, your chances are good enough for a wild card? Yeah, I mean, I, I know I have a chance for the wild card, but I don't, know, I, I don't want to think about Moscone because I, I'm going to play Race Cup first, so I think I, I'm going to give everything in the Race Cup. First Hanoi, then Race Cup, then let's see what happens. Definitely. Let's, let's yeah. give a message to the <laughs> Vietnamese fans real quick. <laughs> One message yeah. to our Vietnamese fans. <laughs> I feel in love with this country. I, I never feel so happy playing than here in Vietnam. So I definitely, think that, definitely a crazy amount of fans yeah, watching. Yeah, yeah. Everybody supporting me in front of you. Yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah. This country. Looking for the next exhibition. Definitely, yeah. definitely. We'll be back, guys. Me and him. We'll be back. We'll be back. Okay. Congratulations, brother. Ha <laughs> ha
Yeah, vroom, vroom. What a mum!